Hi, you see in the background the beautiful Siam Reap River in Cambodia? Uh, not really. Uh, I wish it were. Uh, hopefully I'll get there someday and you will as well. But um, the Siam Reap River uh, flows uh, close to the site of Angkor. Also to the south of uh, Angkor is the Tonle Sap or the Great Freshwater Lake uh, of Cambodia. Um, so Angkor Wat is the largest religious monument in the world and it was kind of eventually the heart of this city, uh, the religious heart of the city of Angkor. And the city of Angkor had perhaps, uh, different studies have suggested different numbers, but uh, around 500,000 people uh, in this city, so being one of the largest cities in the world. Um, so if you go to Angkor Wat today, you'll see the, this um, religious structure that f since the 14th century has been occupied by Buddhist monks and priests. Um, so, but it was initially dedicated to the Hindu god Vishnu. And so in, in Angkor Wat there are all these different temples and, and beautiful um, carvings and engravings. Uh, for instance, the victory of Vishnu over the Asuras or the demons. Um, there are also scenes of uh, elephants or, or um, cavalry mounted on elephants, uh, fighters, and, and different scenes of um, under the courtly and military life of of Suryavarman II, um, the, the leader. And Suryavarman was the um, the leader of the Khmer Empire when Angkor Wat was dedicated to the god Hindu god Vishnu. And so surrounding this whole that whole complex of uh, Angkor Wat is a 650 foot wide moat and it so it's 650 feet wide and as far as uh, east and west it goes uh, nearly a mile so uh, almost 5,000 feet and then north and south over 4,000 feet so it's an incredible place uh, to visit this this capital of the Khmer Empire and the world's largest uh, religious monument thank you